day 10. Um, yeah, it's actually a really beautiful day today. Blue skies, clear skies, no clouds, nothing. Also, thanks so much everyone for the comments and the feedback and, and all the encouragements and stuff like that. I've been sharing some of it with the family, which is cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for that. It keeps us motivated, it keeps us stoked. Um, then if you guys have any cool ideas or stuff that you would like to see in these videos, we're definitely open to stuff. Um, we know it can get a bit repetitive sometimes, so we're definitely open to new ideas or suggestions if you have any. Start off by making dough in the bread machine, um, but you can obviously make your own dough. Um, and obviously, these are going to be what we roll out the pizzas. So we quite like nice thick pizza bases. And yeah, um, just now I'm going to show you how we prepare our bases and put them in the oven. But what we've got here is an oven, basically on full ball, full tilt. It's going to be really, really hot. There's a little bit of the bacon fat left, so I'm going to use that as, as a bit of a oil in the base, but you actually don't, with this pan, you don't even need oil really. But get a nice hot pan, nice stick free pan, and just leave it in there for a little tiny bit. It'll just get a bit of a base going on the bottom, and then we'll use it to assemble. So, obviously, with Family of six, we've got to like create a bit of a production line here. So that's where we'll do all the assembly. We'll just put the bases one by one. So I'll show you what it looks like. This time. One of the tricks to this whole process is making sure this oven keeps very, very hot. So don't keep opening the door all the time. Um, leave the hot air out. We'll try and keep it really nice and hot in there. And that's six pizzas for the family made in fairly quick space of time quicker than ordering so yeah okay so there's my shorts finished donna's got them on and um yeah i was just smiling to myself because if you grew up in the 70s or 80s like me you can be rest assured that you and your siblings all have had an identical pair and this is just an um, off cut of the fabric I've used, which was a kitchen curtain I bought from SBCA Charity Shop. Okay, so I didn't have my mic plugged in earlier, so I recorded some stuff that didn't come through, which is kind of sucks. But pretty much, um, I, was, I had a video call with a friend of mine earlier, her name's Kelly. Um, it was really, really cool catching up and stuff. She lives in Pretoria, so I don't get to see her a lot. So it was really good um, like catching up and seeing her, and it's really awesome that we have this sort of technology um, at our disposal where we can actually sort of hang out with people, talk to them over the internet. I think it's flipping cool. And also just the other thing I wanted to say is that for whatever reason today especially, I just really missed my friends more than usual. And I don't know why, I just did. Obviously I value, you know, friends and family so, so much in life, like, I really do, I value them so, so much, but I think it's in times like these where you kind of remind it a bit more um, how much they mean to you and like what their worth is in your life, um, I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know, I've just really been missing people, significant people in my life, um, and I think especially today it, it was more difficult than most of the other days. I don't really know how to say what I'm feeling, but I sort of share that because, yeah, I think today especially was more difficult. It's like I'm just missing certain people a lot more than usual today. 